I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw decomposers. So at the top I'm going to write decomposers and they are Mother Nature. Mother Nature's waste management crew. And they're very important in our cycle of life. Waste management. Okay, so over here we're going to draw first and then we're going to label and I'll explain everything. But over here on the left, starting right here, put a dot and we're going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line up. Come back to the dot and we're going to draw a wavy, wavy line underneath. Inside, we're just going to draw little straight lines all the way across. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now we come down right underneath and we're just going to put a dot in a line and then one, two, three straight lines on top, one, two, three on the bottom. Put a dot, straight line, one, two, three on top, one, two, three on the bottom. One more time, put a dot, straight line, one, two, three on top, one, two, three on the bottom. Now underneath, we're going to draw one, two baby circles, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down. Right here, we're going to go curve line, curve line, connect on the right, curve line, curve line, connect on the left. I'm going to do it again. Baby circle, baby circle, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, curve line, curve line, connect on the right, curve line, curve line, connect on the left, and let's do one more. Baby circle, baby circle, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, curve line, curve line, connect on the right, curve line, curve line, connect on the left. Come straight down, we're going to draw a flat oval, and we're going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six little straight lines on top, one, two, three, four, five, six little straight lines on the bottom. Draw me a flat oval, one, two, three, four, five, six on top straight lines, one, two, three, four, five, six little straight lines below. One more, flat oval, one, two, three, four, five, six straight lines, one, two, three, four, five, six little straight lines. Right underneath there, we're going to draw another flat oval and we're going to put a little line around it and we're going to go one, two straight lines on top and then one, two, three, four on the left, one, two, three, four on the right. Right next to that, I'm going to put a dot, I'm going to draw a spiral, then I'm going to draw a circle around and I'm just going to go one, two, three, four straight lines, one, two, three, four. And like I said, I'll explain what all of these things are when we get done. Okay, come down below again, put a dot, and we're just going to draw a curved line and then a wavy line connect. Come down below, slightly curved line out on the left, slightly curved line out on the right, connect the bottom, Come up and do a little line up on the right, little line up on the left. Right next to it, we're going to do it again. Put a dot, curve line, wavy line across, curve line down on the left, curve line down on the right, little curve line connect, wavy line up on the right, wavy line up on the left. Now we're just going to draw a slightly curved line, curve line around, connect, curve line around, connect. These are easy. Straight line, 
little curved line connect on the either side. Curve line, wavy line, connect, bring it down, wavy line, wavy line, connect. Okay, now you should be at the bottom. Maybe you have one finger or two fingers left of space. Put a dot and we're going to draw slightly wavy line all the way over to the right. Now this is now going to become wavy wavy line, wavy wavy line, wavy wavy line, connect. Put a little line inside and if you can fit one more, wavy wavy line, connect. Okay. All of these I'm going to put a curved line, curved line, curved line, straight line, triangle. Okay? Now, come over here, and right here we're going to talk about how decomposers, really what they're doing is they recycle, recycle dead, ew, plants, and animals and they're really a cleanup crew. If we didn't have our decomposers our earth would be a big old mess. So they're very important organisms. Now right here at the top let's put a dot and we're going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line on the left. Come back to the dot Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Come over here on the left and draw a straight line, curve line out, connect. Come up to the top, straight line, curve line out, connect. Let's just put some straight lines inside. Come up to the top and just call it baby circle, straight little curve. Baby circle, straight little curve. Baby circle, straight little curve. Baby circle, straight little curve, baby circle, straight little curve. Okay? Now come back over here on the left. Starting right here, we're just going to draw curve line connect. We're going to come curve line down, curve line up, wavy, wavy, down. And right here, put a dot. And we're just going to draw a curve line, straight line, little curve line, little curve line, connect. And right next to it, put a dot, curve line, straight line, little curve line, little curve line, put a dot. Come inside and just draw some wavy lines. Now come to the end of this and just draw a curve line, curve line in. Okay? Now, right next to this, we're just going to put curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, connect, and if you can fit it, curve line, curve line, connect. And like I said, I will explain what all of this is in just a moment as soon as we get done. Now, underneath our line, we're just going to draw some wavy line, wavy lines, wavy lines, wavy lines, wavy line, wavy line. Okay? Now, this whole section we're now going to draw, put a dot, curve line, connect, little triangle on top, and we're going to draw wavy, wavy line, connect. Next to that, we're going to draw a wavy line connect on the left and a wavy line connect on the right. And we're going to draw a curve line, zigzag, zigzag, and then zigzag, zigzag, curve line. Okay? Now, over here, we're going to draw a baby circle and we're going to draw a straight diagonal out, curve line, curve line, straight diagonal in. We're going to draw a straight, I mean a curve line, straight line, in. And now we're going to draw a curve line, out, in, connect. And now curve line, curve line, curve line, 
straight line, straight line, one, two, three straight lines, one, two, three straight lines, straight diagonal up, down, and put an X right there, okay? Underneath right here, we're just going to draw some wavy, wavy lines, straight line, straight line, straight line, and we're going to draw some dots, straight lines, one, two, three, one, two, three, straight line, dot, straight lines, one, two, three, one, two, three, and right here, we're going to draw a baby circle, baby circle, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, little curve line, little curve line. Okay. Now we draw on the left of this, we're going to draw a straight line and a triangle. Over here, we're going to draw a straight line down and a triangle. And right here, straight line and a triangle. Okay. What are all of these? Right up here on top, this is an earthworm, okay? These right here are insects and flies. Down below are microbes, microbes, whoops, and bacteria. The mushrooms are fungi and dead leaves, very important, dead leaves, okay? All right, so now what happens? This is what happens. You've got to have decomposers because they're responsible for eliminating dead and dying organisms. And in the process, they release nutrients into the soil. So earthworms and insects eat dead plants and animals. Microbes and bacteria turn dead organisms into nutrients. Fungi or mushrooms eat dead tree trunks and old dead leaves. Now the decomposer's uh, waste turns into nutritious organic matter that a plant or tree's roots can absorb as minerals with oxygen and water. If we didn't have these decomposers, all of this stuff would still be left on, um, on the landscape. So, here's a dead tree trunk with mushrooms, fungi growing, and these are dead leaves. Okay, these are all dead leaves coming off of this tree. Then, here's an apple that somebody took a bite out of and it's on its way down. And here's an earthworm getting ready to eat it. And this is an egg that broke. And here's baby bird goo. And here are insects coming in to eat that. And this is a fly who's after a dead bird. Let's draw one more wavy, wavy, wavy line, straight line, straight line, all the way across because this earthworm also will go into the whole cycle of recycling these dead plants and animals into nutrients that are used again. So it's like a big circle. Okay, let's see how we're gonna color this in. Okay, I'm gonna use pink for my earthworms. And I'm gonna color these pink on this guy over here and then these little guys over here. And earthworms are very important. If you pick up dead soil, or not dead soil, but if you pick up uh, moist soil and you flip it over, nine times out of ten, there will be some earthworms in there. And they're part of the cycle, decomposer cycle. I'm going to take a red and I'm going to color all my arrows because everything goes down and then goes back up again. And since I'm doing that, I'm going to color in my apples. And I'm going to color this little apple down here. So whenever you take a bite out of something and you throw it on the ground, these decomposers love that because that's a dinner. Next are insects and flies. And flies are very important because a lot of times when they see something dead like an animal, 
they will have laid their eggs, which are maggots, and then those will eat the flesh of the dead animal, which is kind of yucky, but that's what happens in nature. So I'm going to make that, their wings black, and I'm going to do the inside part of them yellow. And then over here, that's why I made my fly next to my dead bird because he's being eaten. And I guess I'll make my dead bird a blue bird so you can color this blue or you can color any color you want. Okay. And give it an orange beak. Okay. Next, microbes and bacteria. And a lot of this you can't see. This is already in the soil. But they're very important too because they're also part of the cleanup crew. So I did that green. I did the inside pink. I think I added a little bit of blue. You can make your microbes any colors you want. Next, fungi. Next time you order a pizza. You can say, I would like some fungi on there, and that is referring to mushrooms. And this down here are the mushrooms growing out of feeding on a dead tree trunk. That's how they're helpful in all of this. Next comes dead leaves, and a lot of us, I'm just going to put a little bit of green because we're going to double color these little bit of green and then next to that I'm going to put brown so especially in the fall where you have big piles of leaves if you go over to them and you look underneath you'll find that moist environment that all these insects love to hang out in these are also dead leaves here falling okay and just put a little bit of brown now since I have my brown out, I will do my tree trunk and my roots because this is how all the decomposers, when they have their waste sink back into the ground, their nutrients is, are picked up by the root system of all the trees and plants. You know, and the more nutritious the decomposers give us minerals, the better our plants and trees will be. And I wanted to do an example of this broken baby egg. Because what happens, and some of you might have seen this, you know, you're walking and you see a, a broken egg or a smashed beetle or something and you see all these ants come from nowhere or insects just show up and start feeding off of it that is what decomposers do their mother nature's waste management cleanup crew okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here is my decomposers chart all colored in and they're very important. If we didn't have them, we would have a lot of dead debris hanging out. Okay, bye-bye.